Hello and welcome to the Futures 3D video training series. My name is Jeff Christiana and this is a video number one of the Adreno video series on how to download and use Adreno 0023. On the website you can go to download and right at the top here the official TF3D Marlin firmware for your Ramps Electronics. You can click here on the zip file, we'll click and download. And when it finishes downloading, and you unzip the file, you have a folder, Adreno 23. You open that up. Show you what's inside here. In the folder, we've got all the standard Adreno 23 folders. I have listed here all the different versions of firmware that I have been using from beta, release candidate 1, release candidate 2, and then possibly release candidate 3 in the next few weeks for the LCD display. There's a X, there's a sh executable here, Adreno. You want to right click on that drag and drop to your desktop and say create shortcut here that will add this icon on the desktop there's really nothing else in here that we're going to deal with all you care about is that you've got the latest firmware these down below are zips of the firmware the original zips before modification so the ones you want to look at and edit are the three that are unzipped have been modified to work with our TF3D printers. So we go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and double click on Adreno. Now Adreno is starting up. It'll ask you there's an update, a new version of Adreno is available. Would you like to visit Adreno download page? There's no reason to take this update. Adreno 1.0 is out, but 0, 0 0.023 version works just fine. I've had no problems or complications. If you do use 1.0, you might have some compile errors and you have to modify. There's an include file that needs to be changed. There's, there's some changes that need to be done. I haven't checked it in quite a while, so if you want to try it, you can, but there's really no reason. 23 works just fine, um, so we would say no to that. So here we have main screen of Adreno. We've got your file, edit, sketch, tools, help. We're just going to cover basics here. You want to go ahead and open up the R Marlin firmware, so we're going to do a file open. And we're already in the Marlin folder. So within Marlin, you want to open Marlin.pde. So the Marlin PDE folder, and we are in release candidate 2. Make sure you're in release candidate 2 or release candidate 3. So PDE will open up everything. It's like your main work file. It's like your workbook basically. It contains all your different pages of code. So we're going to open that. What's it going to do? It's going to open up a second window. Once that second window opens, you can close your primary. I'm not sure how to fix that, but not really a big deal. I just close the extra window. Maybe there's some settings in the preferences for that. So in Adreno you can see there's many, many files and you click the down arrow there's even more. The ones you're going to want to concern yourself about is configuration H and configuration advanced H. The other file that you'll probably be more interested in is called PINS. PINS actually defines what 
pins on your ramps board and what they do if you have a problem with one of your ramps um, pins that we what you can do is let's see let's see let me look for something here let's see so yeah, let's say here you want to define your fan pin as, as let's see here you got heater pins. Just go on here basically, <coughs> change this pin number. If you want to reverse this one for this one, you're 9 to 4. Your temperature 0 is red on pin 13, temperature 1 on pin 15. So if you wanted to switch those, 13 here and 15 here. So you can change around your. Uh, pin designations. But this video was mainly to get you installed, get the software on your machine, and start you doing your configuration. The next video we're actually going to show you how to edit these. I'm going to teach you what each one, each item means, and how to compile and then upload to your Adreno board. We'll see you in the next video.